Uh, answer the. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the lion's ear wearing earmuffs. So you said, oh, no, nah, that's not the answer I was looking for. But it would be quite funny, don't you think? Though technically, they almost do look like they're wearing earmuffs. They're very hairy. <laughs> Lady Lone Wolf, you say a lion muffin. Obviously, these are the answers to my very silly joke. Not quite. Good though. I'm loving the creativeness. We'll do one more. It's here. Wello Wanderer, um, you've searched for the answer. Here comes the lioness, because you got it right. No, I can't do my joke thing. Ah. So the answer to that was, you can call him anything you want, he won't hear you. So either you've heard that joke before, or you've searched it word for word on the internet. Hmm, very sneaky. That's not loud, just by the way. That, that's, called, that's what we call cheating here in South Africa. <laughs> But here's our lioness, she's back, and I'm pretty sure it's the youngest girl again. Uh, let me move, I'm just to see, want to see she's going to go around. The Birmingham doesn't even know that she's here yet. Perhaps her footprints are being muffled by the wind. Senzor, let me quickly reposition, let me get a good angle for you. See what she's going to do. Just deciding if we're gonna, which way we're going to go around to get the best spot. I'm also, I'm thinking. Okay, we'll try another joke just now. Please don't, if we do do jokes, it's fun, of course, just to answer them. It's not nice when you search them. <laughs> she's looking at him, look at that. She's looking at him and he doesn't even know she's there. That's so funny. Fast asleep, he's going to get a big fright. So you've come back, have you fed your little ones? You're going to go straight and nibble on the carcass. I think she's just being a little bit wary. You know, she she's sussing and uh, uh, trying to figure out which lion that is, I'm sure, because, you know, he could have also got up and moved and other different lions could have come into the area. So she's just being careful. She's got a big full belly and I can see nice suckle marks. Okay, let me reposition again. So that's good. So she's definitely been suckling her little ones. So yay, they've also had a meal. Go around this way. She's sneaky though. She came quite a long way around. I would have thought she would have come a more direct route. <clears throat> he still doesn't know. <laughs> what a silly, what a silly big lion. He's fast asleep. I'm just trying to get it. Sorry, Sensor, that we don't get the other car. We'll just cheer for now and then we'll go the other side. Sorry everyone, I'm just trying to make it the best view for of course you, but you can see there is another vehicle. Oh, now she's using the luxury facilities before she starts to feast and not really worrying about starting on a new spot. She's going to go straight into the, the easiest point to get into that buffalo and Mr. Nsuku is still fast asleep, but I'll tell you when he gets up, I'll keep an eye. But even <clears throat> even she doesn't look particularly hungry, but they'll constantly keep gorging uh, themselves. It's very important. They do want to eat the meal as quick as possible. <clears throat> Obviously, lions being uh, the top predator, barring crocodiles, they don't really have too much to worry about. But again, if a huge clan of hyena comes through, and there definitely is no shortage of hyenas in the sand, they could quite easily chase the lions off and then they would lose their kill. But this is an, an exceptional sighting. It was like when I told you about, of course, the elephant that died down in the southern sands. And there must have been about 50 hyena that chased lions off of the, the elephant carcass. That was really impressive. Right, so we're going to sit here for a little bit longer. I'm going to send you back to Jamie and her lions.